All right, here's round three of the, uh, the watermelon workout. So we've done round one, round two, here's round three. We've got three more exercises that we're going to be doing. We have 10 minutes to do them in, and you're going to go through them as many times as possible in that time. So keeping that tempo up is very, very important. So uh, if, if any of you know the, the Tracy Bird song, the watermelon crawl, uh, we actually invented our own. If you don't know it, you can look it up. <laughs> uh, so the watermelon crawl is, what, is one of the exercises. You start off with that one. What you're going to do is knee, knee, hand, hand, knee, knee, hand, hand. So you go one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 all the way up to 10. So you do 10 reps. So every limb touching once counts as one repetition. So you go through that a few times. It's kind of like holding the plank. Works the arms, works the legs, works the whole body. And then we've got high knees. So you can hold on to the watermelon and you can march. You can jog. You could hold overhead. Don't drop it though. It makes a big mess. So hold it overhead there. You can march or you could jog with it overhead. So overhead, of course, is going to get the heart rate up even more. And then finally, we've got our watermelon baby booty bridge. So we've got some pretty good heart rate stuff, pretty hard work. We're going to get the hips going just a little bit on this one. And so we're going to come down. First, we're going to get ourselves a watermelon baby. So there we go. I now have a watermelon baby. It's right on my stomach there. And you're going to lay back. You're going to keep your heels in pretty close to your butt there. If they're out far, you're going to get too much hamstring out of this. It's going to feel like it's going to cramp. So keep your heels in close. Your, the watermelon should be touching your thighs and your abs the whole time. And what you're going to do is you're going to be squeezing up. Squeezing up there. You don't have to drop all the way down. Just drop a little bit down and squeeze back up as high as you can. Keep a little bit of tension in your abs so that way you don't start arching your lower back. Keep a little bit of abs working and then a lot of butt working, of course. Now, for some of us who are a little bit stronger, what you can do is you could do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, so that way you're getting a little bit more muscle recruitment there. So you're getting more fibers activated. It makes you work a little bit harder there and it'll get things going even better. So, so those are the three. You've got the watermelon crawl, cycling through there, touching the limbs there. You've got high knees 40 times. That every time, one, two, three, four, 40 times of that. And then you've got the watermelon baby booty bridge. You've got 20 times of that. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times fast. So that is round three of the watermelon workout. So you can give these a try if you want. Make sure that you are really good on posture because when you're working with something unique like this, you could very well hurt yourself pretty good because you might slack on your position. So uh, if you're not sure about your position, unsure of these exercises, don't do them. <laughs> you know, find a competent professional to help you with, uh, with the posture and the techniques of these exercises. Just, uh, just wanted to send this video out just to give you an idea of some stuff you can do. And, uh, Again, if you don't have a watermelon, you could even use a, uh, a weight for some of these. You could use a medicine ball. You could use a pumpkin. Um, you could use a lot of different things and accomplish basically the same workout there. So we're just using a watermelon just because uh, something fun to do. And, uh, and we gave them away to our clients too after the workout. So once they sweated and bonded with their watermelon, they got to keep it. They got to keep their DNA with them. So watermelon workout. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, have fun. Be safe. Thank <laughs> you.